All right, welcome back to Funding a Prince. All right, so I think we're going to be doing some stuff with Mel in this episode. Whoa. Okay, let's see what you got. Um, point Blake shot, attack, and hide. I like moves that hit one random enemy. Oh, look at their smiles right behind her. <laughs> oh, yeah, so I asked the dev to, like... I, I, I kind of asked the dev how, how they did all this with, like, the card system and stuff. And what they sent me was, like, a video just scrolling through the common events and, like... No, I purposely, there were like over a thousand of them, like one for each type of card, and like. <laughs> I didn't understand any of it, but like, I'm assuming how this is done is some insane knowledge of common events. As is a lot of crazy stuff in RPG Maker. <laughs> okay. I'm afraid I cannot let you pass, Mel. Danila, what are you play uh what are you playing at now? This tree behind me is condemned. It will fall at any moment, and I cannot let it fall without being here to see if it makes a sound. That's not what that saying is about. It's about time to fall any minute, I understand. Well, it would seem it does not make a sound. Or it does make a sound. Can I go through now? Only if you defeat me in a bit of sparring. What do you say? I lose you go through, I win, and you can heal um Heal up and face me again. Why just let me through if you're if there are no stakes? Do not value your time, my lass. Time is a valuable unto itself, and it's time to prove yourself worthy. On guard. Okay then. <laughs> Hot you. That wasn't too bad. Um Attack, attack, point blank. Attack, attack, hide. There we go. Right show. You win, Mel. Good luck. I'll be right behind if you need anything. I'm just going to rest my bones. Where'd the menu go? It would seem that tree didn't fall. It could be that, um, that was a ver uh, the very trend I was looking for. I also gotta be careful. It's easy to walk in circles if I don't pay attention. It can't have gotten far. It's a tree. Let's see if I can hear it. Sounds like the insects are on the path. So if I don't hear insects up ahead, that's the wrong path. Do I gotta turn my volume up for this? I hear insects. Okay, um... I should have enough for that. Why can't I open my menu? That sprite looks a bit broken, um... Why have you approached my grove? Oh great blokewood, I'm here to ask for a mere twig of your great being. You are far too meek to be worthy of my blessing, you shall not have a part of me. Okay. Seek out my brothers if you care so much and show them confidence. Ooh.
I can't open my menu, so I don't know if I can heal or not, or even save for that matter. Why have you approached my grove? Oh great look what I have made in search of your blessing. If I were to have this blessing, I can use it to help protect this very grove from outside forces. Look me at the eyes, child. Okay. You are scared. Why is that? I was rejected of the blessing from one of your brothers. While fr uh, frightened of my, of my verdict, and already being denied, you come to me for a blessing. I do not know if you're if you're very dumb or very brave, but I'll give you the hope you desire. There are four of us in the woods. And you have already spoken to one of my brothers. I'll tell you what you must say to my next brother. This will only work if you have not spoken to the brother already. Tell him this, I have come to leave you alone. Wait, what? Just do it, it'll be funny. Oh god. Okay, so I went the wrong way there. Okay, you do heal me. I still can't open my menu, though. Do I, do I gotta go back to that previous place to be able to open it up? That, that feels wrong, because like, I was able to open the menu when playing as her all the time. I'll just make my save anyway. This game auto-saves, I don't know what I'm so worried about. Why have you approached my grove? Oh great Blookwood, I have come to say I have come to leave you alone. That was good, I'll grant you one request for telling me to leave. It's funnier the second time. Oh good lord of nature, give me strength. I would like a piece of you as a blessing. So it shall be. Thank you, great Blookwood. I will make sure this uh, twig will stick with me. <laughs> that was good too. Never again. Uh, wait a second. Is that all I needed? Like, do I just gotta get out of here now? Oh, now my menu is available. Okay, um... Cool. Um, alright.
What the heck is going on here? BBG employee, you aren't supposed to be here. Whoa! I'm sorry, but are you lost? Should I look for your for your guardians? What is this music? Oh my god! <laughs> so you're a racist, I see. Oh my lord, I'm sorry. Are you not... I mean to say, I'm sorry. Humans are always looking down on us, Meowkins. But I worked my whole life for this job, and I will not let some human come up uh, to me and call me a child. I said it was sorry, I was just trying to help, but you're not helping, you're a bigot. A nasty bigot who attacked me and my people, you can say sorry you want, but this was a hate crime. Look, I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know what else to say. Well, you can start by leaving me alone, I'm busy right now. Where's Cole? We gave him an incentive to leave, he was rude too, so good rinse to him. All you done. No, I'm not. I can't let that machine continue to take down, uh, continue taking down, cutting down those trees. Do you own these trees? I don't see your papers. If you're not here to work and just annoy me and riddle me with microaggressions, I'm going to have to remove you. I was wrong. You are a child. Meowkins have a great hearing. Have great hearing, by the way. I know that. I don't care. You, you, you specifically are a brat. I have no idea how you got the job with your attitude. I can't stand men who look down on me. One, um, one after another. Excuse me. Get them. Oh, why does that do so much? Um, I have 30, so I can use that. So you're just going to break private property like that. I see how it is. I've had enough of you. I've taken out your stupid robot. You're going to take, take me to your boss, and we're kicking you out of these woods. I am the boss, and you're the one leaving alone. Help! That's the same type of portal that got... Huh. No one- no more- no one talks down to Karen Jingles! <laughs> Head of the, uh, the tough- uh, the tough management. The turf management. Oh, there we go. Uh, hmm. Still, you- you were like the protagonist of the last game. Okay, I, I, I just want to reread this. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll do, we'll do Navi next. Navi, are they breathing? No. What happened? I have no idea, but we need to get someone to help. Let me look at them. They're dead. I, I will get Chancellor. You uh, you can find the Oracle. I will. Amethyst, open the gate for me, please. Opening the gate. Why, well, hello, Navi. How are you? That look, it must mean they're dead, Sky. The day has come, has it? Well, this is most unfortunate. The Chancellor will almost certainly take power now. Yeah, with no heirs to the throne, they will have power now. I must tell you, Navi, that's not entirely true. Wait, what? There is uh, potentially someone alive who could claim the throne for you see. It's okay, Sky. I know you want to protect my sibling, but please tell me. Yes, of course, okay. So the Emperor a few decades back had one night stand had a one-night stand of a human. A human, is there proof of this? Yes, one second. This is a photo of them. Wait. Finding a prince. I need an image. I'm not looking at my old ass let's play of this. My first thought is, is this the prince from the last game? Oh. <laughs> Let 
Am I the only person on YouTube who has footage of the ending of this game? Really? Like, <laughs> this game's so good, like... Oh! This is a character from the previous game. Maybe not the prince? I think this was like the shop owner or something. They have the exact skull shape of the royal line. They're a perfect match. The chin is, compl is a complete match. That's definitely their kid. Even with a different skin tone, eye and hair color, and overall appearance being completely different. They go by Hanson Shop Owner. Alright, yeah, okay. I I'm an idiot. <laughs> you can find them in the uh, in the town of Main Street. An, o over an overgrown town in, in Lefsen. That's actually not far away. We have to let Sapphire and, and the Chancellor know. Sapphire loves the them for, you know they won't like knowing they had um, a one I say of a human. Then the chancellor won't, uh, the chancellor won't like, uh, won't likely give up on their chances for power now, or a technicality nonetheless. You're right. I'm going to have to go alone and bring Hanson back here. Once everyone sees them, no one will be able to deny the royal line. The emperor just died, Na uh, Navi. If you leave now, you'll be a branded a traitor. There's no way people will understand. Well, Hanson, I'm sure they'll understand. Okay, I'll try to distract them, dear. Get going. Thank you, Sky. You've always been there for me, and please comfort Sapphire for me. They're going to need it. Of course, Navi. I'd also let Goldie know. They're likely drinking right now. Oh, and I talked to Hazel and whoever they got running the inn right now. Oh, oh, we get the illustration this early. <laughs> Hello there, Navi. I hope you're doing well. Chancellor, I guess you've uh, spoken to Sapphire. Yes, I must speak to the Oracle, as you know... As you know why, correct? Yes, of course. Good day then, Navi. Oh, Navi? Yeah? Is it Navi or Navi? I don't know. Don't, uh, don't do anything rash. I know your sibling is very upset. Please think of them before anything else. Yes, of course. Good. Okay. That be dripping. <laughs> what, what, what's that? Oh, okay. Oh! Didn't you used to have a menu? I didn't expect to get the cards this early. <laughs> we use cards now, this is the new thing. I don't really have the time to drink, but hold on, uh... Hold on to in a Grunroot beer for me, I'll need it later. No problem, I'll leave a bottle off the rack. That's a cool design for that character. What is this art from? Like, this is from multiple different art styles, so I want to guess maybe this is from, like, different sources, perhaps? How's the fight, Captain? Navi, what's wrong? You're not usually this quiet. It's the Emperor Ivy. Uh, they, uh, they, well, it's best you go see for yourself. Okay, I'll leave right away. Rakoli, keep my food warm for me, please. You got it. Also, is everyone in the society or in this town non-binary? That's kind of interesting, because I noticed they're using they-them for, like, everyone. <laughs> like, I'm here to totally watch this place if you need anything, like, totes ask away. Where's the owner of the inn? Oh, they like to uh, they're, like, totally on vacation. I'm, like, totally versed in unculture. Underculture. You and us valley elves are, like, cousins or some junk. Well, whatever, I wanted to let the innkeeper know I may not be staying here for a time. No problem, Undies. I, I, like, totally got you. Never call me that again. Oh, you're a bossy fish. I like that. You gotta be. Well, like, whatever. Yas, now you, like, get me. <laughs> what is this character? <laughs> I, I, goodbye. I, <laughs> I think that's everything. I need to get out of here before anyone notices me leaving. <clears throat>
Uh. Is the screen supposed to say stay black for this long? Did you forget to fade back in or something? Uh, let me soft reset that. Right, that's a video that'll probably be- that, that's a script for a video that'll probably be up by the time this goes up. Oh god, where's my last autosave? It was as- as you. Oh Christ, I think I might be softlocked here. I'm not sure if I can complete this. Um, alright. Oh, well, we got two other characters. When did I last save with you? You know what I'm gonna do? Hold on. The dev only wants me to, like, look at the first chapter anyway. I think what I'm gonna do... I think I'm just gonna, like, start a new game and then play as the other two characters. That's unfortunate we can't do the rest of that story, but, like, I really don't know what the game wants me to do there. See, so, yeah, I will just do this and get back to, like, the character select. Okay, um... We'll do you next. Jenna Bearsong, the Human Wizard Summoner. Jenna's a student of the, the, the Peklo School of Summoning and Magic. This gives her access to powerful elemental magic and the ability to summon powerful fiends to fight for her. She grew up in the country of Snowlin, of which she is now a refugee, unable to speak the local language very well. She communicates mostly with a smile and a nod and a yes. Jenna starts her adventure before the faithful day she becomes a refugee and is forced to venture out into the woods. Those who ignore the politics of the world don't know how m uh, much a privilege it is until ignoring it isn't an option anymore. The value of magic is that it can be used by almost anyone. Amputees can use earth magic if they know the proper foot movements. Those who can speak will always have thunder magic on their side. If you can't see, the wind will still whisper to you. As long as you have your eyes, then the burning passion of fire can still be assured. Finally, water and ice will guide your hands and lead you to victory. Hecla was once considered to be a punishment to those who didn't fight, uh, fit in. However, finding that all magic stems from, uh, from Peklo itself, us brave few philosophers of arcane arts have found that nothing is, is that simple. To think, over a hundred years ago, and our magics are, are still considered unsafe by, uh, by, by evil so many. But things have gotten better since then. I was so lucky to find a school that, that is teaching critical magic theory. Wait, I think my combat deck should be arriving today. I should go find out if it's here. I stumble in my fire spell becomes milk. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, it's... I, what, what's with the, the brackets? Is that like them whispering because they're in a library or something? Oh, wait, that must be, like, 
translating whatever language he speaks now. Okay, I, I get what, what the point of that is. <laughs> I've, ha I've heard, had enough of your excuses for today, Vera. You'll sit here and you'll finish your essay on di dialectical materialism. Oh, hello there, Jenna. How have your studies been? Yes, hello. As you know, I've been doing my research on critical magic theory, and while the link to critical strikes using magic is hard one to prove, I do think that the efforts will be worth it in the end. And I think I'll get people to understand that it's a worthwhile subject. I do think that it's a really powerful subject. I commend you for it. It could be revolutionary, if, no contro if not controversial, to be sure. Yes. What's up, Jenna? Hurry up, I'm behind on this paper. Just real quick, do you still have that card you showed me? You want it? I couldn't find a use for it. It's not helping me right now. You can have it. Personally, I think it's important we all focus on our magical axiom axioms and grow from there, instead of just using intuition to justify spell choices, right? Yes, the fact that we have people trying to justify magical realism is crazy. Even just the way we perceive things is subjective. What even is objective casting? True. Hey, Dimple. <laughs> a package didn't happen to come in for me today, did it? The mail hasn't arrived yet. How about you do me a favor? I need someone to get a book I ordered from, from the town to the east. Yes, I can do that. What's the name of the book? Holder and more a diet plan for the people. I've been told it's a real page turner. That sounds familiar. I don't remember it being a happy book. Whoever said it was a happy story? I said it was a page turner, not happy. I'm a devil. I don't do happy. Oh. Oh, oh, it's gonna have me do the tutorials again. Um. Oh god, no! <laughs> that's close enough, um, that's close enough, miss. Name yourself and your reason to come here. Yeah, um... Tyam, do you know... Pekelnim, uh, Infernal? Mine Infernal not very good, but I can speech. Okay, phew, now if you could repeat what you asked me. What is she saying? She only speaks Infernal. Name self and reasoning for to being here. Your Infernal is pretty good, to be honest. Yes, so, uh, so my name is Jenna Bearsong. I'm here to enter the town to get a book. Hopefully stay the night and leave in the morning. Is that okay? Actually, my Infernal sucks, but thanks. Okay, you may arrive only single day, understanding? Yes. Open the gate for her. She's only here to get out of the weather or something. She's only staying a day. Gotcha. What happened here? Why is it destroyed? I <laughs> Did he kick me out? What was that about? <laughs> Hello, Jenna. Glad to see you're okay. Yes, what happened to the town? I had to be left in by some frost elf guards. Oh, yes, well, we are currently, how do you put it, hosting some frost elves. Yes, I'm not so stupid. These people took over the town. Please, Jenna, keep it down. We've had it pretty rough already. Yes, I'm sorry. How can I help? My rooms are already pretty full, but I pulled out some blankets and, and the floors are carpets. Jenna, my favorite student, how can um, Madaris help you? I saw your school next door was destroyed. Are you okay? Yeah, they were looking to take uh, Madaris with it. However, they did not know she, was, uh, she wasn't a human. So Madaris is hiding in plain sight. The fools don't even speak infernal. Uh, ho, ho, ho. Well, I'm glad to see you're alright. But what, about, uh, what are you going to do without a place to teach? There are always more students. There are always more, e uh, more eager to learn. Madaris should move on anyway. Vil Dracona has been has been good, but Maduras is not safe here anymore. Yes. Oh, I almost forgot. Your school is all, uh, also the town bookstore, and I need a book for Dimple. Holder and more, yes. Madaris has it here. Uh, um, it was going to be dropped off to them while while 
it was time to leave, but you can save Madaris a trip, yes, yes. So what did these Frost Elves want? From what Madaris is told, they are after BBG. They are not allies of BBG, and they are scared of them. While Madaris under understands that BBG is bad, this was not justified to attack Vill uh, Vill Vill Villagecona. The Frost Elves want our magic. It is that simple. But what they don't understand, the BBG doesn't want the Frost Elf land. BBG wants the gas from Tox City. The Elves are never in danger, yes? So it was just an opp um, opportunistic excuse to invade. Yes. Wait, that's my line. I mean, that means the college may be in danger. Madara thinks Jenna understands now. Yes, I need to leave right away. Too late today, the elf locked the door. Come, tell Madara as much as you're on your school year tomorrow. We will come in, you will leave. Yes, yes. Okay then. I've been doing studies on critical magic theory. Oh, it's morning. I gotta get going. Are they, like, time-traveling to deliver these cards? That must be what's going on. I don't want the tutorial, I know how to use these. We should probably get out of here. But first, here's the deck, have fun with it. Yes. Okay. I really like this song. <laughs> like, I just want to say, like, this is a cool theme. Oh, okay, okay, I'm gonna like this. So she's got, like, a bunch of, like, magic. <laughs> Cute trip, take damage, AP plus 20? <laughs> Your attack is probably terrible, being a black mage. We'll put that over that. You know, the thing that sucks about a demo of a game like this is that, like, a game like this really needs you to, like, get a little farther in to, like, fully understand the mechanics, but, like, for a demo, like, how are you gonna do that exactly? I... Oh god, did it happen again? I hit enter, but it's not letting me enter the house, or enter the college. Um... I'm gonna try to game end and just come back. Okay, I don't know why that happened, but that should probably be looked at. Let's do an enemy fight. I want to see what, what her gameplay is like. I think I recognize that enemy from the first game. Okay. Does block... remove the... like, reduce the damage you take from Q-Trip? I want to see if that works. That feels like it would be a good synergy. It does! That's interesting! Okay. Oh god, okay, synergy like this is what makes card games really fun, by the way, Professor Herb. Like, like stuff like that is super fun and, like, super interesting. <laughs> 
if you need like ideas for the future or like wanna like like m make the cards interact in ways like that like ways you wouldn't really expect at first but when you think about it for a second it makes perfect sense uh oh i've read that things like this can happen overnight but this is ridiculous i can't get back in from the front I've got it. I'll open the the pit. I'll draw their attention to it. Even if they follow me, they don't know the way down there like I do. What was that? Ooh! Follow me if you dare, whores! What's that stupid human doing? Did she just split open the ground? That's right, I'm down here. Hey everyone, there's another entrance. Let's go. <laughs> That's a funny sprite <laughs> or illustration yes considering i've never actually cast that spell before i'm sure glad it worked is that a zombie up there what is this music uh, it, it sure is dark down here but maybe they can be in, uh, that can be to my advantage i know they used to have a bunch of traps down here for intruders perhaps i can use them to my advantage did you repeat the same line twice? I don't know, I'm dumb today. Uh... None may pass. A Jiangxi. Listen, I need to get through it. What do you need for me to pass? Life force for me. I need my life force. I can't just let you drain me. Then battle me. You win, you pass, you lose, I get life force. I win, you work for me. You win, I'm dead anyway. Deal. You're on. Regenerate. Ooh. I'm assuming this does extra damage if you're wet. I gotta say, I feel like I should have blocked last. I feel like Jenna is the most, like, mechanically interesting so far because, um... Her attack is terrible, but like what that actually does that makes your like AP skills a lot more worth it. Compare this to someone like Kasa, that was her name, right? Like the first character, whose like attack is so strong that I didn't feel like I really needed the, the skills that actually cost AP. Like there's gotta be a risk reward to this sort of thing. And like, I think, I think like just making your attack do borderline nothing is like a good way to balance that. You win, I survive. So here's the deal, I'm not the strongest, I'll need you to protect me from behind. If I fail, fall in combat, I want you to bring me back here, as you command. Why are there bear traps in the bottom left? Okay, I can see your traps up ahead and um, are not set. I want to set them all before I leave. I want to make sure they can't use this entrance behind me. must have a specific card in Jenna's deck. The card needed will be hinted at if... by Jenna if you do not have it. So... I... Okay, so I have a lightning spell. Yeah. Oh god. Ah! How much damage did that do? Quite a lot. Uh, okay, hold on. Oh, it actually desyncs them. That's interesting. A magic wand. I forget there's equipment in this game. I, that's just better for, like, what I'm doing. Oh, no, 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 no. Might as well equip that.
Okay. What's down here? Okay. <laughs> uh, are you a bad guy? Oh, why- why is my health so bad? Wait... Uh... How did I win that? Ooh. These are probably better than attack. Nope, ah, that's got me. Okay, what? Why does? Why do I not gain health back? Do I have an item that can heal that? Okay, okay, there we go. I don't know why you don't do that like at the same time. Uh, fine. <laughs> So that's good to go. There's still one more trap down here I gotta set. Is it this? Okay. Oh, these are ice sliding puzzles.
Wait, I... We've been here before. Oh, I must have missed a trap somewhere. Okay, so we got the lightning orb. That's innocuous. Okay, okay, well, that's all of them now. I might die here. Yeah, okay, fine. You know, I feel like we might be coming up on a boss soon, and you can't save in, like, the character select menu, and I would like to ask if the dev if maybe there's a way to, like, knock it softlock during Navi's story. I think we're gonna leave it off here. I'll see you folks later. Thanks for watching.